up a J right after. We got off the phone, yeah. We just reconnected. Been a while since we spoke. You tell me that it's been destined, but the uncertainty, baby, it made you shy away. Now you're not saying I won't make it. What you trying to say? Okay, hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Just tying my shoes here before I'm into the office. Happy Tuesday. Um, so I haven't done my podcast in probably about a month, and I don't know if it's because I've run out of things to say, I just haven't prioritized it, um, and so I have been was thinking about that today on this Technique Tuesday, uh, being consistent is what really kind of gets going, so you need to be able to have a look at where I want to take that podcast at this particular stage, just because I think it becomes really important to have a look at what I'm doing there. To make sure that I'm driving the results that I want. That's really where my thoughts are. So, um, came in this morning, gonna do a little uh, practice um, with the language. Got to certify myself tomorrow. Uh, working with Carla today at seven, and then got got the new uh, new hire. So working with them today, and I think I have a a webinar at two, like a leadership call, and then. What's the other one? A uh, meeting at four. So let's see how that rolls out. Let's go. Hey there, everybody. Let's keep rolling. All right, here we go. Walking through the lobby of 9800 Richmond. Pretty cool view, huh? Here we are. Walking in. First in. Let's go. All right, everybody, let's tie the tie. Let's get this going. Happy Tuesday. Hey there, buddy. Here, here a little bit early before uh, my four o'clock meeting. Uh, networking. Let's see if I meet uh, <coughs> kind of meeting strangers. Met this person uh, via LinkedIn. Had some mutual connections, and so hey, wanted to meet up. Uh, so I said, sure. Let's see what we can do. And getting our calendars together. So I uh, got to make it a real quick one because got to get home and uh, gonna go check out a Hindu temple if you can. Turns out. Okay, everybody. Hope you're doing great. So. Um, this is me staying outside of a Starbucks, um, and this is what it looks like. I got stood up, um, sent a guy an email. Hey, don't know if you're running behind. What happened? Obviously, we got our lines crossed, right? So there's no value in blaming somebody. It's just it just happens. He might have got held up in a meeting. Um, I could have got held up in a meeting. So um, <clears throat> we're not we're not meeting up. We'll reschedule. No big deal. But while I was waiting, I decided shot off a couple emails, shot off a couple text messages that was that was delaying me. And then for the last um, since 4:05. For about 10 minutes, eight minutes, I ran a quick uh, Instagram live to be able to squeeze it in while I was sit sitting here waiting anyways. I wanted to give uh, someone an opportunity. It is Houston, so I understand traffic, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I have no problems kind of giving somebody that time as long as I'm not crotched, um, 
I was on that crunch for time already. So um, sometimes that's what happens. Not all the time is every single meeting that you see on any of my posts, my vlogs, um, do they all keep, not in all the interviews that come in from people that want a position with our organization, do they all keep. Sometimes life happens. And so I want to be able to be able to put that into the context. I think sometimes what happens is people, they want to blame others. They get angry. They get frustrated. And yes, I would love every single meeting to keep at the specific time that I allot. And I would love to be able to make sure that all my interviews are kept. But the reality is that each of us are running on different realms and different tracks. And we get we can get derailed or we can get completely um, blindsided by something that wasn't is maybe out of our control. And so that that becomes a part of that context in this be flexible, understand that things are going to shift on you, and you want to have the right mindset to continue moving forward. Typically for me, I'll have more appointments set than I want to have kept, right? So if I want to be able to see 10 people a week, that means I'm going to have at least 14 or 15 on the books because I know some things are going to fall off, or I know for myself, my schedule is going to get pushed off, and I'm going to have to be able to adjust things on the fly. So um, let's head on out, get back to the office, get a few more things uh, adjusted, make sure that... Uh, Monica and Nate, as they're new to everything, that they're feeling comfortable. If they have any questions, let's continue to roll. Shrooms out. But I do this because I live like I'm a die today. Passionate about it, you gotta have it a doubt. And I gotta have it of working and earning it. I am out in the city of angels. I know that they're looking out for me. This is my testimony for all of y'all that have been doubting me. The evidence is evident. Music is my medicine, my testament. Meant to be, be true to you, a legend in the making. Make the best of every moment. Cause nothing lasts forever, but forever I'll be focused. Focus on the now, now, 